At the end of the last century, Sanyong began to cooperate with Daimler AG. One of the results of cooperation in 2001 was Rexton. From the Germans, he got not only licensed engines, but also much more. Even the wheelbase eventually matched that of the Mercedes-Benz ML. Noble, you say, origin and reasonable price have become a reserve for a long and carefree life. For a long one, yes, but is it careless? Since then, the SUV has not changed much technically. Today the third generation of the model is on sale. In 2006 and 2012, Italian auto porters altered outerwear for Rexton. Many seemed successful, others not so much. Gradually modernized in engines. However, by 2013, by the time the third generation appeared, the SUV approached, already having a somewhat damaged reputation. The presence of childhood diseases and the ability to break down even when used in greenhouse conditions. Lies, the internet will immediately scream. Not all of its owners face problems. And this is true, but it is necessary to evaluate all perspectives. Rexton was equipped with four engines, two gasoline aspirated and two diesel engines, a choice of four-speed automatic transmission or five-speed manual transmission and three types of all-wheel drive. Simpler versions, 163 horsepower 2.7 liter turbo diesel with manual gearbox, got a part-time 4WD drive with the hardwired front end, 50 colon 50 torque, a locking center differential and a lowering row, the best off-road option. For hard surfaces, we recommend the option with automatic transmission and TOD, torque on demand, drive, where automatics are responsible for torque distribution. Instead of a gearbox with drives, there is a bridge at the base of the rear suspension, and the car almost always remains rear-wheel drive. And finally, with a 183 horsepower turbo diesel, you will get the AWD system, permanent all-wheel drive. This is, rather, a crossover with no blocking, urban prankster. We did not mention the 2.3 liter 150 horsepower and 3.2 liter six cylinder 220 horsepower gasoline engines. The most unpretentious of the engines can be considered a 3.2 liter six. Perhaps this is compensation for her serious appetite. Fill up with high quality gasoline, and there will be no problems. Her 2.3 liter counterpart is more capricious due to troubles with the head gasket when antifreeze got into the cylinders. Hence the starting problems. Diesels are worse. By the way, they are the most common. The XD diesel engine and its younger and more powerful counterpart XVT have similar problems. Loss of traction due to poor contacts on the injectors, valve failure of the exhaust gas recirculation system and turbine control. Problems with the injection pump and the entire fuel system due to low-quality fuel. Not everything is smooth with machine guns. It is difficult to advise a four-speed Australian unit, with a 2.3 gasoline engine, as well as with an XD diesel engine until 2006, whose clutches wear out over 60,000 kilometers. Not without problems and licensed, from ZF, later five-speed automatics. Here the control unit is short-lived. If you understand in good conscience, then there are sores and on the body. There are always electrical problems. Throw surprises GUR. In the cold breaks the hose at the outlet of the steering rack. Native working fluid does not hold frost. ABS fails, although the front pads run 50,000 kilometers. There are legends about washer tanks bursting every now and then, about sour hand brake cables, about collapsed lower ball joints, which is why Rexton, like a Ziggly, classic, tucks the front wheel at the most inopportune moment. There are many problems, but you should not think that they are not compensated by virtues. The suspension as a whole can be called quite strong, capable of digesting serious off-road conditions. The huge, well-equipped, quite high-quality interior, in which any road is comfortably transferred, also deserves praise. In a word, Rexton beckons with its availability and inexpensive components, if you buy it on the side. However, this car is not as unambiguous as it might seem at first glance. Body. The hood, trunk lid and frame around the windshield are more susceptible to corrosion. This is where the paint starts to bubble. Wormholes can also appear on the inner cavities of the wings. Since 2011, for some reason, the manufacturer began to paint the roof rails. However, this did not improve the appearance. The effect came out the opposite, the paint on the roof rails peels off. The roof rails are fine, they are plastic, but the untidiness is obvious. Transmission. Of the three all-wheel drive systems, the universal TOD with automatically connected front wheels is considered the most reliable, 
but only in combination with a manual gearbox. It is wiser to refuse to buy a car with a gun. Speaking of the simplest part-time transmission, the weak point here is the front-wheel couplings. So-called hubs can sometimes fail even with low mileage, up to 10,000 kilometers, and not necessarily even when driving on severe off-road. Engine. The scourge of diesels is low-quality fuel. High-pressure fuel pump where products clog injectors and the entire fuel system. There are problems with starting, increased fuel consumption, black smoke, and a drop in power. Extraction of injectors, and all work with the fuel system, requires a qualified approach at specialized service stations. In especially advanced cases, the cost of repairing the fuel system can reach UAH 30,000 to 40,000. Electrician. Often the sled of the driver's seat frays the heating wires of the pillow, the solution is to replace the heating element. Sometimes the immobilizer does not recognize the ignition key. You have to retrain the device in the service. It happens that the outboard air temperature sensors fail, and then the climate control system begins to mope. Suspension. Maximum attention to the lower ball joints of the front suspension. They work for a brake, hence the disastrous consequences. The wheel brakes, disabling the drive. The harbinger of the problem is play on the steering wheel. In addition, when the suspension is rocking, a characteristic metallic creak appears on bumps. In order to prevent ball bearings, it is recommended to change every 30,000 kilometers.